Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the new Tier 9 French Autoloader. The one that replaced the Lorraine at Tier 9. It's the Batjat 25T AP. Not to be confused with the Batjat 25T, which is the Tier 10 version. This is the Tier 9 version. It's been driven by subjugation. And it's my old mate Napalmer. In, in this side. They're obviously saying hello to each other. And... This is a tank that I've never had, and people keep telling me I should get it, but I just, I've got my awesome girl crew in my tier 10 batch, and I wouldn't know what crew to put in it. But anyway, in this replay, now, the, spoiler alert, this game does go for a fair while, and it gets pretty tense in the end. And I see some really good team weight between these two blokes who obviously know each other. They're not platooning, they just happen to be in the same game. We're on Lakeville. And subjugation at this stage of the game is just looking at the minimap, seeing where everyone's going to go. Maybe looking to put in a few cheeky shots, maybe into the lake road. Maybe into that T-49. Napalm has already picked up a kill on the M-41 Walker Bulldog. Napalm has sent me one or two awesome replays and I'll be uploading some of them soon. So keep an eye out for those games because they're pretty good as well. But in this game, is subjugation just kicking back at the start, which is something I find hard to do, and that's probably why I don't win many games. Just trying to get a gauge on where the enemy tanks are. The AMX 1390 doing a great job spotting on the lake road with the spick behind him. And it looks like four or five of the tanks in subjugation's team have gone the Valley of Death. You can see the M59 Patton, the M103, the Super Pershing and the Centurion are all plodding along plodding along down the valley and he's just waiting to, for something to unfold here, he's just kicking back, having a bit of a look the Centurion gets taken out early by the TVP, the new Czech autoloader at tier 10 TVP T5051, which is a tank I've unlocked not so long ago, and I'm really looking forward to trying it. Looks like the enemy side are doing a bit of a camp fest down in the southwestern corner. A lot of tanks spotted there the Batchat, the AT15, the TVP, the Grill, and the T34, I think. Which tells me that not many of the enemy tanks are, are pushing the town. Now, obviously, there's a few that have just been lit now. And um, that Napalm has conveyed that in the chat. It's like all their, tier, all their tier 10s, they've all been spotted. They're all back at the base. And it looks like the enemy side are doing it. They've absolutely cleaned up in the valley. They didn't manage, even though five tanks went there, or four tanks went there, they didn't manage to kill any of the enemy tanks. And that's... Probably because all the tanks that went there were tier 8 and they were up against tier 10s, I guess. But the game's still young. They're down by three. The only kill so far is by Napalmer taking out the M41 Walker Bulldog. And now Subjugation is looking for some shots. Unlucky to take a shot early from that E75. Artillery. Zodiac 115 from Gaywalk. He's already given up. And it's still looking pretty bad. Subjugation. He hasn't fired a shot yet, but... He's just looking for his opportunity. They've got good vision on that lake road. The AMX 1390. Doing a good job there. Keep, keeping the enemy team honest. But... The enemy team are just smashing him. That was an arty kill. But that TVP has picked up three kills on the enemy side. Yeah, the grill's been spotted, but he is behind he is behind a rock. He's taken a few shots. The Scorpion G's been taken out from subjugation side. It's looking pretty dire at this point of the game. But don't worry, I wouldn't have made a replay if it was, if it was gonna be all this bad. Gets a shot into the grill. Hardy does the job and kills the grill, but that siren tells me someone's near the base. 
Purpose of negation. Just were hoping that T49's going to poke out. I don't think he's going to. 121's pushing onto him. And that T49's using the ridge line near that church to his advantage. So Abdegation looking around, going to help his old mate No Palmer because No Palmer is almost by himself. He picks up the kill on the T49, pushes into the E75, takes him out of the game. He's got two shells left. He needs them to count. Kills the T69, picks up three kills in just a few seconds. But the enemy team are still there pushing on that artillery, the FV3805. Big T9 British artillery. So subjugation is, is moving back towards the cat because that's where most of the enemy tanks are. The only tank that's still around here is that T28. But that TVP is looks like the TVP is just going hell for leather on the artillery, looking at the mini map. But Napalm is moving in to try and help. Subjugation waiting patiently for his gun to reload. Now they've picked up a couple of kills there. The TVP got killed by Napalm. A great job there. And it looks like a lot of enemy tanks on or near the flag. Pretty safe to say that any, all the enemy tanks are there just about, I think. Unlucky bounce on the T-34. Napalm takes him out. And there's that there's that T-28, he's just been plodding along. And he gets out of the way, because the T-28 is not going to be that easy to penetrate frontally. And he doesn't want to be copping shells from the, the American tank destroyer. And he's like the armoured French medium tank. Now he's got three shells left in his clip. No Palmer's on pretty high health, so No Palmer's going to do the right thing and try and light that base. It's only the AT-15 there going by the minimap, but there is a bat chat that was last spotted on that lake road down the four line. Very, very patient. It'd be very, it'd be very tempting just to YOLO the base, but you don't, you really don't want to run in the front of that big bat chat gun. T-28's been spotted, and the T-28 did the right thing for his side and let the artillery take out the grill. A very dangerous, very dangerous tank, the grill. So the arty obviously focused on the grill. And subjugation tracks him with his first shot. He's not going to have enough to kill him. But he puts a couple of shells into the T-28 before hiding again. The bat chat's been spotted, and he's only a one-shot, that bat chat. But that cap time is going down pretty quickly. It's only less than 20 seconds to go. The AT-15's been spotted. But now it's only Napalm and Subjugation left. Napalm obviously just put a shot into the AT-15. Which reset the timer, which is good. Subjugation's reloading. And he'll be willing that gun to reload as quick as it can. It doesn't even look like it's moving. The reload timer on this French T9 gun. Auto loaders are good, but when it takes so long to reload, it can be painful, especially when you can hear that siren going in the background. Now it looks like the T28 just fired, and he's got his side, so he takes him out of the game. Now he can probably afford to take a shot from the bat chat. How he landed that shot, I'll oh, never know. Artie shoots and misses, or he gets him, splashes him for 117 damage. But that AT15, even though it's only a tier 8, it's got pretty good frontal armor, and with only 297 hit points left, you can't afford to take more than one more hit from the tier 8 British tank destroyer. 35 seconds left before the cap before the cap goes off, so Napalm is going to light him up. He probably, subjugation, probably should have hit his F8 key here just to let Napalm know that he was still reloading. That's why Napalm put in the chat. Old spot if you can snipe him. He's on 700 hit points. Waiting, waiting, waiting for that. Waiting for that reload. Auto aims. Probably not the best thing to do. Gets the reset and now he's got his sides. 
Napalmer picks up the kill and now it's just a case of looking for that T-30 who hasn't been spotted all game as well as the enemy artillery, the SU-14-2, the big Russian. The big Russian could probably kill both of these tanks in one hit if, they, uh, if, it, if they're too close to each other. So they need to keep moving because the Russian artillery is not that accurate. Napalm is letting subjugation know that he's only got five shells left. So they're sticking together. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Where would the T-30 be? Good communication in the chat. They're obviously not talking on team speak. They're not in a platoon. They just happen to bump into each other in a game. They're splitting up here, which could work or it could backfire. Let's see what happens. It's only four minutes left. Four and a bit minutes left. No palmers go in the road. And subjugation. Going through the city. No palmer thinks it's at J4. I would agree. That's probably where he would be. J4 or even K2. Behind behind these mounds over here. Or he could be sitting here. I will often tank destroyers sit there. So subjugation gets all the way down here. He should be able to outvision the tank destroyer, the T-30, the big American. Looks like a T-34, the big American tank destroyer. And he'll definitely be able to outvision that artillery. There's the arty. He has been spotted though. Subjugation picks and confirms the top gun by taking out that SU-142. But he was spotted, so the T-30 is going to know exactly where he is. Three and a half minutes left to go. What's he going to do? No need to reload. He's already got premium ammunition loaded. He needs to use the camouflage. Use these bushes so that the T-30 can't see him. The T-30, if he was spotted from there, I wouldn't think the artillery, which the artillery was seen here, I wouldn't think the artillery could spot that far. Before he fired. Napalmer's going in. He's only on 100 hit points, Napalmer. Auto aims on the T-30. Obviously, Napalmer's shooting him as well. And Napalmer confirms the kill in a massive game. Great great amount of teamwork between the Tier 9 and the Tier 10 French auto-loading tanks. The Batchat 25T AP at Tier 9 and the Batch at 25T at Tier 10. Unlucky not to pick up an ace tanker in that game by subjugation, but he got the top gun. Fire for effect, Duelist and Hand of God, and have a look at the second page of the post-game battle results. Subjugation absolutely smashed it with Napalm up, doing over 10,000 damage between them. 3,500 damage, subjugation, 1,200 and eight experience. You can see he fired 21 shots, 18 of them hit, which is pretty accurate. A few of those shots bounced. He also picked up 1,079 spotting damage. Napalmer also had an awesome game. 6,934 hit points of damage. That's enormous. And uh, 1,500 spotting damage. You might ask why subjugation outscored him. That's because subjugation is in a lower tier tank. And the lower your tier, the, the more the experience gets multiplied if you, if you do really well in it. Made a bit of dough, even though he fired some premium ammo. He made nearly nearly 15,000 credits after he paid for his ammunition and repairs and all that kind of stuff. But an awesome demonstration of some really good teamwork between Subjugation from RNG Clan and Napalmer in Anzaf. Keep an eye out. I've got a couple of Napalmer's replays coming soon to this channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. A bit of Pretty tense towards the end, but a good carry by these two blokes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.